All right, people. I is been Brook. It's been Freyfrook83 on Willkommen to NHL 12 by EA Sports. This is the PlayStation 3 version, and ho oh, oh, ho, man. This is quite, this is a game that I'm pretty sure Mick have caught many, many of you. Uh, well, pretty much, yeah, got the attention of many uh, uh, of you guys here. <laughs> Oh, guys and girls, whatever, man. Like everybody's talking about uh, these two, and hell, uh, even uh, even the penguins and flyers are all because of two guys. Yeah, here, here's one of them. They're uh, Mr. Gino, Jenny Malkin, him, and Sidney Crosby. Uh, it's been if you've been following headlines this week, well, basically, a lot of trash talk between uh, you know uh, Flyers coach Peter Laviolette and uh, you know with. Uh, you know, the Pittsburgh there, uh, basically, uh, for those who don't know, uh, basically, uh, Flyers have accused the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins of playing dirty hockey. And uh, basically, uh, what happened is, uh, during late in the game, uh, St. Crosby, uh, he got cross-checked in the back by, by Luke, uh, no, not Luke Shen, by Braden Shen, you know, his younger brother. And uh, Crosby, uh, when, you know, being Crosby, he's all like, what the hell, what did I do? <laughs> And, uh, you know, of course, a lot of people saying, uh, you know, he's a, he's a whining crybaby. Well, okay, that's their opinion. Uh, well, I suppose in the way he is, so I'm not going to deny that. And, uh, yeah, I suppose, uh, I don't know, it is debatable there, because, uh, you know, like, I've watched Crosby uh, closely uh, since uh, that, you know, like, early on uh, this week there in, uh, you know, in April there, and, uh, yeah, like, uh, I kind of understand where, uh, La Violette and uh, John Torella are coming from there because, uh, yeah, like uh, Crosby and Gino, uh, yeah, they do uh, both play uh, you know, uh, with a uh, bit of an edge to them lately. Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe it's a playoff thing. At all. Oh, look at this shit there. Already laid in the goal. Yeah, good going, dumbass. Oh, no. Oh, man, off the bad start. What does this always happen? Fuck's sakes. Was this, was this my first shot? I think it was. Oh, wait, wait, shit, now I have to adjust all my coaching strategies. Fucking, fucking Jacob Voracek, of all people. You kidding me? Ugh. And fires, they give up Jeff Carter for, for this guy. Yeah, oh boy. Okay, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, as I was saying there, um, yeah, like, uh, these two teams, obviously, they hate each other. And it's mostly because of that, and uh, next thing you know, uh, the following face-off, uh, guess what Pittsburgh does? They send her fourth line, you know, you know like, uh, you know, since uh, Flyers, uh, you know, since the game was already decided there, uh, I think the Flyers won that game, if I'm, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, here we go, I'm going to drop the gloves, and guess who it is? It's a Jenny Malkin taking on Matt Carl. Yeah, come on, come on, let's do this, man. We're gonna give it to him. Come on, Carl. Yeah! Look at that. I'm still in the green. Woo! Woo! Suck it, Carl! <laughs> Ooh, it's Liba S. Yeah, thick dish, Carl. <laughs> oh, man. You knew there would be a fight in this game. I <laughs> bet you didn't expect Gino. <laughs> that's how I roll. That's how I do it. That's how I yam. That's how I play. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I do. And, uh, oh, yeah, so, woohoo, yes. See, it would be a crime of me not to upload uh, this game without any fights. Like, come on, you knew there'd be a fight. <laughs> See, that's what I do. Okay, and, uh, yeah, as you can see here, my first line, uh, I have Jordan Stahl on right wing. Or, oh, wow, look at them there. Ooh. Way to block a shot. Turned out he blocked crappy shots. Mm. So yeah, um, uh, tomorrow's uh, rematch. Uh, oh yeah, there will be a rematch uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I think at 4 p.m. Eastern time, and that's a Saturday. And uh, you know, close out the season. And uh, as far as I know, these are Penguins. They have called up none other than Steve McIntyre, better known as many. As Big Mac. Remember him? Big Mac. Look him up. Holy crap. He is a biblical nightmare of a fighter. 
Like, if he played all season, I guarantee you he would be the heavyweight champion. Like, he's like he's that awesome. And keeping in mind, he's, he's with Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh, they already have Derek England. And, like, they are arguably the best top two heavyweights in, in the NHL right now. Like, uh, I don't think, like, the only team that can match that, I believe, is the Rangers. Uh, you know, with John Scott, you know, like, Big John. Him and, uh, you know, uh, who else? Uh, um, I don't know. Like, Brandon Press, he's okay there, but uh, he doesn't quite measure up to Derek England. Uh, shit, uh, hang on. Uh, he got more tough guys there, I think. Well, let's do a bit called, uh, wait, thank you, please. I'm going to technically on. Uh, can I up? No, no, that, uh, Rob is okay here. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, I guess New Jersey, they would be the other team there with, uh, what's his name there? Eric Bolton and uh, Cam Jansen. <laughs> Man, uh, like, I'm a big fan of uh, Cam Jansen. If I'm not mistaken, they call him, uh, on hockeyfights.com, they call him Barney Rubble. Woohoo! Hey, guess who scored? <laughs> That's right, number 87. <laughs> of course he scores. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Brian Rebel, holy crap, they're like, he's a marathon fighter. Like, oh, man, like, yeah, every time I see him fight, yeah, I don't, like, my face just lits up, man. Oh, I love the way he fights it. Like, it's so entertaining. I, uh, I just love it. Oh, we should be more fighting like him. Like, him and Zinon uh, Knopka, the only two fighters who could, uh, you know, like, go. Go for more than a minute and not break a sweat. And uh, and most of the fights I've seen this season, like uh, these guys, they could barely uh, last 30 seconds. And meanwhile, guys like Jansen and Kanopka, they could go for more than a minute. So like, like that tells you something right there. Like it's just awesome. All right, then. Uh, oh man, like I could go on uh, all period there about uh, about these two teams here and. Uh, Yep, here we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, woo! Yeah, look at me playing dirty here. <laughs> Stuck. Come on, Warcher. Come on, come on, drop him. Yeah, as you can see, Mr. Universe is in net. <laughs> I like that top ten uh, sound bites. Said uh, the, uh, the Adam number one here was talking about the galaxy and universes and all that. Oh man, uh, that was pretty awesome. Just check it out there. <laughs> like. Uh, like, he's got this whole HBO thing going on there uh, with the universe. Like, oh, man. Like, it's... Whew, okay, ooh, it, it's something. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's, it's, if it's his vodka talking or that, that's how he is in, in general. I don't know, man. But, uh, I don't know. If, like, for those who don't follow that, like, I, like, for you, like uh, you guys are probably going to say, what the fuck is he drinking? <laughs> like, oh, man. Okay, so over here, yeah, there you go, I'm changing my lines there, I'm just uh, trying to get my bearings together. So, yeah, I will admit there, in this gameplay, uh, I will be a bit rusty here, so, uh, you know, like, just try to bear with me there. Uh, you know, like, as lately I've been pretty focused with uh, God War 3, and, uh, you know, like, I play, uh, you know, Call of Duty, uh, you know, as well, on the side there, and, uh, you know, like, I just finished wrapping up Twisted Metal, uh, you know, like, uh, about a week ago, and uh, look at this, there's big scrum, and guess who's there? None other than Matt Cook. And look at this, plays a big hit. <laughs> Typical Cook! Alright, now I got Gino on face-off. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, Gino, he's not that good on face-offs here. Uh, that's one of his weaknesses, so uh, I might be tempted to move him to right wing, uh, switch him with stall if, uh, if I start losing, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll do it, man. Hell, I might switch my lines every period here if, uh, you know, if I start losing it. Come on! Oh, man! How can I? How did I not score there? Jesus Christ, man. Fucking universe. Oh, you got the best me. Oh, yeah, and uh, for, those, uh, for those of you who didn't... Uh, who are not aware, uh, Chris Pronger, I did not dress him in this game. Uh, you know, like, uh, honestly, I did this so... Uh, you know, like, I... I tried to make both lineups as accurate as possible there, and, uh, like, uh, I'm sorry if you're a Chris Pronger fan there, but, uh, right now, like, his career is in serious jeopardy. Like, uh, it's unfortunate there, but, uh, yeah, like, it has come to that. Yep. But, uh, 
you know, like, there's no doubt in my mind he probably will be a Hall of Famer there because, you know, like, he had a hell of a career. Like, the guy, uh, he's nothing but a winner in my book. And, uh, okay, sure, like, uh, yes, uh, like, he, he, he did play, you know, like, very rough hockey, like, obviously. And, uh, you know, he did get suspended a lot, but, uh, you know, like, you gotta understand he's a very intense guy. And, uh, like, be before this, uh, you know, like, before the lockout, like, oh, my God, like, like, he would terrorize, uh, like, he would terrorize anybody who would go in front of the net. And, uh, like, uh, today, uh, guys like, uh, you know, like, Thomas Holmstrom, uh, you got him and Ryan Smith, like, they would get destroyed by Chris Pronger uh, before the lockout, like, like, there's no, like, uh, like, the way they play right now, uh, like, uh, they did that, well, actually did uh, do that before lockout, and uh, you don't, you don't get noticed, uh, like, uh, they weren't successful, uh, you know, as successful now, well, well, before as, as they are now, yeah, they, that's what I meant to say. Oh, freaking England, I blame you on that, oh, crap, I was out of position there, oh, I'll make no excuses for that. And once again, it's Jakub Voracek. Holy smokes. What the hell's up with that guy? Oh, yeah. He's playing Drew. Okay, there you go. That would explain it. All right, yeah, we'll admit that uh, that's a good pass by Giroux, but uh, whatever. I paid the price. Yeah. Whatever. All right, let's see if I can get one back. Oh, yeah, and uh, yes, I uh, did uh, disable uh, the offsides in this game. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of offsides, and basically I did this so it could open the game more up, and I barely use uh, offsides to begin with, in general, like, I don't like it, that's not the way I play, like, I, I, I don't believe in offsides too much, oh my god, are you kidding me, how did that one get in, oh, great, now I have to use full attack, okay, I dive here, no problem, what? How did he not lose the puck? I don't get that one. That makes sense. Well, I'm down by two goals. Oh man, that looks good. See, uh, like it's been that long since I played NHL 12 there, so oh man, I gotta get bearings here. We yeah, have a bit rusty right now. Not good, not good at all. Yeah, there's another period I envisioned. Hmm. Play's playing good. Oh, man. What a lousy period. <laughs> okay, it looks like I have to do some line jungling in period two. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> That one was my own fault. Alright, that's about it there. So, uh, until next time, this is Fly Fluke 83. Aus.